Hello, Assalamualaikum. Uh, let's begin another episode of PSX update. Today we are going to look at Avancian and Octopus Digital. This is Dr. Hassan. So let's begin. Today I'm going to begin with investment principles. So if you are looking for some good investment principles, here are a few uh, that you might consider adopting. So for example, one of the principle is that, you know, don't invest in a business if you don't understand it. It's simple. Try to understand a business, its past, its present, its future, what it does, uh, how it's going to adopt with changing times. And if you invest it, uh, you know, if you understand it, only then uh, invest it, otherwise don't. Otherwise, you know, you may not have confidence in the business and uh, you may end up losing business anyway, even if the business does well. Don't invest real money in a promise unless it is materialized. So that's another great principle to have that, you know, look for real value and don't go for just, you know, it, uh, the sort of things that they say, like, you know, this will happen like this, this will go like this, this will, you know, we will give you a plot in future, uh, the price of this share is going up to be three times and so on. So don't invest in uh, those kind of uh, promises. Buy fundamentally strong scripts using buy the dip rule. So what you actually need to be investing is, you know, uh, identify strong scripts, uh, having very good earnings, uh, and you know, they are continuing to improve their earnings, they have low uh, amount of uh, loans and liabilities, their liabilities are low, their earnings are improving, the business is improving, uh, they generally pay good uh, returns to their investors and so on. So, you know, uh, basically keep these kind of shares on your radar and whenever their price reaches certain levels where it's good to buy them, then, you know, uh, buy, use buy the dip rule and buy those shares. Dividend paying stocks often give healthy return even when markets are down and are less volatile. And, Especially in PSX, uh, you know, there is volatility all the time. There are just a few shares. And if, uh, you know, it's a small market and if certain good shares go down, then it goes down. And if certain good shares do well, and then they, you know, it easily uh, start moving in any given direction. So just a few players or a few shares can move the market in, uh, in certain direction. So this market is truly unpredictable. Uh, because, you know, it, it has lots of pressures in it. It's a small market and only a few uh, players can move it in any direction. So for small investors to be on the safe side, it is very important that you only invest in shares that are, uh, you know, fundamentally strong, that pay some return to you so that you can stick with them. You know, even if they are not uh, moving up, uh, they are giving you dividend, and even if they are moving down, even then you are earning something out of them. Uh, so, you know, you can stick with those shares and keep investing in them, uh, you know, over a long period of time. So this is, uh, you know, this is, these are the strategies or principles for, uh, for investors who invest for over a long period of time, maybe three years, five years, 10 years, and they want to, you know, uh, get some return over the years. Uh, while looking for some capital gain as well. So try to avoid pump and dump scams by investing in dividend stocks. And so there are many people who will tell you that, okay, uh, this penny stock is going to go 3x and this penny stock is doing this and this is the news and that is the news and, you know, uh, this group is going to buy this share and all that. So, you know, uh, all of these, uh, you know, kind of news are, uh, basically spread to uh, to execute pump and dump scams. So don't go into penny stocks that have very bad fundamentals. They are penny stocks because they have bad fundamentals and usually these stocks uh, have uh, bad fundamentals over the years. You know, if you look at their five years, 10 years history, then you will find that they go up and then they go bust and you know, there's boom and bust, uh, bust cycles in those stocks over the years. So we, uh, you know, the small investors are better off without having 
investing uh, invested in those kind of stocks so let's look at octopus digital so uh, there has been a lot of excitement uh, uh, about octopus digital its first tech ipo in 7 years and uh, you know uh, it is uh, a wholly owned subsidiary of avencian limited which is a good company uh, primarily you know it it has uh, a good history uh, generally uh, so you know uh, and this company is basically invested in cloud technologies and uh, data science and ai sort of things uh, so it is invested in on the digital side of industrial automation uh, in iot and those sort of emerging technologies so this is a good business uh, and to make things better for octopus digital uh, Evansian has basically diversified their uh, you know digital side of their business into octopus digital and they have uh, given them 89 or maybe more contracts uh, you know uh, that belong to this specific domain so you know this is a nice diversification by uh, Evansian so they they are basically uh, now diversifying and hopefully with diversification and more focus uh, in individual areas uh, they can grow a lot so uh, there is you know in generally a uh, positive feeling about this uh, this business initiative let's look at fundamentals the current value of the stock is 137 and it is a 35 billion rupees company which is quite big if you compare it with you know net sold which is 13 billion uh, they are 35 billion so you know uh, generally it is uh, it is considered good that you have higher market capitalization they have been performing well for last one year and they have doubled their value in last one year which is also good so if you are one of those lucky guys who understood this business uh, you know for at least last one year or two uh, and you keep invested in that then you probably have doubled your uh, capital I mean you have doubled your investment uh, you know in terms of the value you know you have gained 100% capital gain if you look at earnings uh, this company is not that promising so their earnings have been flat or they have decreased you know so their earnings have never been more than 4.5 and if you look at their earnings chart then it has actually grown the value the share value of the company has grown whereas their earnings have have not gone up and this is the trend that has continued year on year you know if if this is if this was the trend that had been for a quarter or two we might have uh, just kind of uh, you know ignored it but this is a trend uh, with Avancian that has you know that has gone on for year over year so this is the direction of their earnings you know so if you are looking at downward direction in earnings then you can understand that this is a business uh, which has very tight margin because we know that you know they have actually executed more business and they have done more deals and they have uh, you know uh, long-term contracts so you know that side of their business is very good you can say okay that's fantastic but if you look at their earnings their earnings are not growing so something is wrong with this company why are their earnings not growing over the years so this is something that any investor should keep in mind if you look at the dividends and you expect some return from the dividends then uh, you know once again there is a disappointment so over the years they never paid huge dividends and their dividends are also decreasing along with their earnings in 2017 they paid over two rupees dividend but then boom in 2020 they only paid one rupees dividend so their earnings are decreasing their dividends are decreasing but their you know share uh, value share price is actually increasing like this so you know i don't like this kind of trend you know share price going up earnings going down dividends going down 
that's not fair you know uh, that's not logical you know uh, so you know this company is definitely struggling and we can say okay because they are struggling in their core business which is industrial automation uh, they have uh, had no option but to actually uh, diversify as a you know as a result of their struggle in industrial automation and you know now they are going into digital side which is you know analytics and data in the cloud and so on so uh, you know actually uh, this is uh, this is something which basically does not justify at least growth in the share price so any investor which is uh, which is actually uh, you know critically thinking about uh, this company uh, for investment or just for analysis you know would basically be uh, concerned about this uh, anomaly in the trend but okay let's say you are now concerned or maybe you are, you still have a lot of uh, hope or you still have uh, you know a lot of uh, expectations from this stock then you know there is something for you here as well you know so faster asset allocation has invested in this stock they invested in uh, you know july and their uh, value of their investment was 328 million and you know uh, probably this there is some increase due to uh you know increase in share uh, price value so uh, maybe they increase some holding as well you know uh so i don't know this is either increase in the uh, the value of this holding or maybe they actually did some more investment so we can see that they are at least invested in july and august and during this period the share price increased significantly as well so this is a good thing that you know the big boys are investing in this company or uh, which means that they probably have good uh, reasons to invest and we can be hopeful for about it as well if you look at the general trend then you can see that from april onwards they have grown in straight line almost you know so as compared to the market this company is better for investment you know so if you stay with Uh, you know avancian and uh, you if you had stayed with avancian for last 5 6 months uh, then you would have actually gained uh, 125% or 120% uh, on the uh, value of your investment if you look at the trend then you know once again till june they were almost sideways are going flat with some huge dips you know to to get you really worried one two three three huge dips uh so you if you invested in that period uh, probably uh, you know you were kind of worried that you know this stock has no direction and it is going down and so on uh and you know it because the performance the earnings were not good as well so you would expect in during this period that this is the direction of this stock uh, it's invest uh, you know its earnings are not that good uh, so it's going to go boom uh, it's not going to up you know there is no reason why it should go up so despite having that expectation what happens since uh, you know late may and june that this goes upwards you know once again you see an anomaly uh with what you would expect and what actually happens you know their earnings have not actually grown but their share price all of a sudden starts going up i think this might be due to their ipo so we can say that once uh, you know we start getting some news that they are going for an ipo uh, you know uh, because you know people are working on their ipo and so on uh, maybe their internal sources Uh, are also talking about it and people who are familiar with the matter uh, you know they start picking up this stock and once they start picking up this stock uh, so then you see that okay uh, their share price also starts going up and it goes from 70 80 to 140 okay 
So, you know, this is the story. Uh, you could have probably picked this up when they they broke through their resistance level around 80. So it was possible to pick that up. But even if you had picked that up, uh, then they basically kind of, uh, you know, give you a lot of worry or thought that, you know, uh, this is not going anywhere. So, you know, after breaking the resistance level of 80, they stood in, uh, you know, they basically remained in that sort of level, 80, 90 level uh, till July, August. And then all of a sudden when the news of IPO was, uh, you know, probably widespread in the market, they start growing. So they go boom. And, you know, actually the value of investment, you know, went up by a huge margin, maybe 50, 60% of the gain was observed. So this was, you know, this gain in uh, events here can be attributed to news around IPO and there is no fundamentals to support this price. So it's all due to IPO news, which means that if you were holding on to this, then probably it's better to sell uh, unless there is some further good news. Uh, but it is possible that it might continue to grow due to or, uh, you know, uh, some gains in uh, value of Octopus Digital. So we can see that, you know, the news and the business strategy, uh, you know, the upcoming uh, growth in business, uh, you know, those sort of things are actually contributing to growth of a value, growth in price of a value uh, rather than actual uh, you know, growth in earnings. Thank you very much. Uh, please subscribe, share and comment and we will meet again.